Welcome back. In this video, we'll look at how to filter data set. We can apply filter based on single or multiple columns and they can be of different data types like text, date, number, time and others. It is not necessary to provide value to filter window. It also can be based on values of another table. With advanced filter feature, we can copy filtered result to other location of the sheet and also we can extract unique values from a column. Let's understand it by doing some exercise in Excel. Here we have a similar data set. Let's filter records. Those have total payout greater than or equals to 500. Again like sort, same basic rule applies here. Let's select the data table first. Go to data ribbon and click on filter or you can also do this step using the keyboard shortcut. The keyboard shortcut for filter is Control Shift L. Now, since filter button has been activated on each column heading, let's go to the filter button of total payout. Here you can check and check values individually to filter or write conditions to filter. Select number filter and select greater than or equals to and provide value as 500. Click OK. Now you can see that we have been able to sort the data on the basis of required condition. To clear the filter, click on the clear button or you can again press Ctrl Shift L. Let's move on to the next level of filtering where we would be supposed to add multiple levels of filter. Moving to the next scenario where we need to filter all records whose total payout is greater than or equals to 500 and the year of joining is 2013. As you can see that already the filter buttons are appearing. So we won't apply them again. We'll simply move on to apply the condition. So we'll click on total payout and apply filter for greater than or equals to 500 equals to the value is 500 and moving on to DOJ column and click on filter button. Here you can see that dates are collapsed into a month and year. Select 2013 click OK. Now as you can see that the records have been filtered on the basis of total payout whose value is more than 500 and the year of joining is 2013. Moving forward let's filter the records based on pay per hours those have the cell green in color. First we'll clear the existing filter by pressing Ctrl Shift L. Now select the range and apply the filter. Click on the filter button of pay per hours and go to filter by cell color and select green. Here is the output. Moving forward, let's filter records based on DOJ employees, those who have joined on 12th July 2012, 6th July 2012 and 10th December 2013. It can be done selecting individual dates in the list of values, but I don't usually prefer because if we have thousands of records and given criteria in 100, then it is not feasible and we also can't do it through custom filter. Coming back to this question, we'll first remove the existing filter and go to custom filter. Now move to the filter button on DOJ, click on date filters and move to custom filters. Here you can see that we can provide only two criteria and if the filter is required based on individual values, not based on rules like more than 12th July 2013 and less than 1st Jan 2014. Now, to deal with this kind of challenges, we have an option of advanced filter. Again select, the, again, select the data table, go to data ribbon, yes, and here we have an option of advanced filter. Click on it. Here you can look at the options like filter the list, copy to another location, list range, criteria range, unique records only. Filter the list. It is used to display the filter records at different location. List range. It simply gives the range of the data table. Criteria range. Simply gives the range of criteria table. Copy to. Copy to basically refers to the cell address where we want to copy the filtered result. Unique records. Unique records is used to display the unique records only. Now, to filter the record based on given three dates, we should have these dates in Excel sheet with similar heading. Now let's unhide the column M. All three dates are mentioned here with the column heading DOJ. Now select the data table and move to advanced filter. Here filter in the list is by default selected. The table is already there. Provide the criteria range which is M1 is to M4 and press OK. You can see that all three records are filtered. Now to clear the filter click on clear button or simply press Ctrl Shift L. Next I want to copy the filtered result to another location of the same sheet. Let's do it. Uh, select the data set, go to advanced filter and select copy to another location. Provide criteria range. So criteria range is already there. This time provide the cell address of the copy location as P4. Click OK. And now you can see 
we have been able to extract the desired result at a new location. This is the power of advanced filter. In the next video, we'll look at the Excel tables. Thank you.